Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hereford FC on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to start a new season, 2033-2034, and I'm going to take you through the changes we've made in the summer transfer window. Um, yeah, so quite a few actually, more than I had thought initially. Uh, just to give you a, a bit of a, a recap, uh, we've been spending some time in the Skybet League 1 for the last, I think, three th three seasons now. Let's look at the... Uh, no, no, that's my history. I want to look at club history. Club history overview. There we go. So, been kind of just barely avoiding relegation the last three seasons. Uh, and we're hoping to do a little bit better this year. I've already played... Whoops. I've already played a few games. Uh, the first game and then the first Carabao um, round. And we're going to play Salford next. We um, drew against MK Downs for the first uh, match, for the opening match. And we're going to play Salford now, so we'll see how we go. Now, let's take a look at dynamics. We've changed a few players. So we had a tiny dip in the team cohesion, but it's rebuilt really quickly. And uh, as you can see, we've got a pretty healthy structure going on. Obviously a few players retired as well. Um, but yeah, let's go through it now. Right, in goal we have two new players, uh, and the two of them are on loan. We've got Thato Sassilebe, and I think we've had him before. Yeah, we had it for nine nine appearances, 12 conceded goals in Sky Bat League 2. Um, so yeah, we, there we go. He's back now. He's a pretty good goalkeeper. For our club anyway. We also got this goalkeeper that could be quite good. Stefano Rossi. He's on loan from Atlanta. He could be really good. Obviously, we could, we're only going to have him on loan. But yeah, it could be quite, 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 quite good for us. On the right side of defense, we still have uh, Tarla Jardine, who's been with us for uh, three seasons now. And um, Blaine. Where is Blaine? Must be on the bench somewhere. Oh, there we go. Blaine Rowe. Blaine Rowe also has been with us. He's actually our team captain. He's been with us over quite a long time now. Left side of the fence, also still the same place. We've got Sai who's been with us for a long time as well. He actually used to play on the right side for us. And we also have Adam Groom, who's been with us a few seasons. On the center of defense, we have two new central defenders. So starting with the guys that were here in originally, so um, Jaden Lott and also Luke Bell. So they are, Luke Bell is really great physically. Um, yeah, they've been with us before. And then we went out and loaned Pavlos Chavo from Albania, from Brentford. And we also have John Ades Adesinha, Nigerian, from uh, Lincoln before, by the looks of it. He transferred to... well, no, never left Lincoln. Obviously now for free to us. So those are the new central defenders. The defensive midfield, we still have Chris Austin. And also Ethan Hill. Ethan Hill. He's probably approaching retiring soon. Central midfield, Adam Coomer. Still with us. One of the most long-standing members of the team. And David Evans, who's graduated, I believe, from my youth. Yeah, there we go. So he graduated from my youth. He's one of our own Nugents. Which, by the way, if you are interested in supporting the channel, you can head over to the Patreon. There's Patreon links everywhere on the descriptions and also on the YouTube page. Um, yeah, and you can name a Nugent anything you want. And um, yeah, we'll basically follow the life of the Nugents in each episode. Carrying down the list, we still have Adam O'Shea, which is a crap player. Really, really bad player, but he's been with us a long time. So he's, an, he's a house 
household name. Uh, but I did have to replace Dylan, who retired. So we rent, uh, we are loaning Chadwin Lewis, who's very good. So he's going to play, I think, for the majority of the season. He's a little bit tired now, which is why I'm not going to play him for the next game. But yeah, he's on loan from Leeds. He was in Newcastle before. So he's a really young player still, only 22. And I think we're going to use him quite a lot in this season. Um, on the left side, we have Kieran McLe um, McLeod, who's been with us a while. He actually came from our own youth setup as well. So we have two players from my own youth setup. And to replace... Uh, who else retired? Roslang? Oh no, Roslang signed for another team near the end of the season and we ended up selling him early. And to replace him, uh, we had like a youth player just as a placeholder for a while and now we went and loaned a John McKenzie from Burnsley, uh, Burnley. Uh, yeah, he's not great but he's just supporting in that. And we still have our four main strikers, so Tyler Winters and Ben Leblonski who's been with us a long time and uh, Patrick Casey who's got great mental and technical for his position but he doesn't have any physical attributes which is why he is not so great and he's kind of declining so he was with us for uh, two years on loan and then he moved for free back in environment national and he had a couple of good seasons they weren't great seasons but they were good and then he's been steadily declining so tw uh, last season he had 20 games uh, only scored one goal you know those 20 games so um not great things I'm expecting. And Kate Churchley, our oldest, I think oldest. Is he the oldest? Uh, just by a bit, I think. Oops, he's not a goal striker. Old Casey. Okay. Yeah, he's our oldest. Kate Churchley is the oldest, but he's not really old. But again, he's not really great. Similar to Casey's, he doesn't have any physical attributes. To be fair, he doesn't really have many attributes except the very specific attributes for the position. He's missing quite a lot of first touch as well. But um, yeah, so our strikers have not changed. I'm hoping that will be the case either in January or at the end of the season for the next season. But you know, we've improved elsewhere. Um, which I'm pretty happy with. So, let's go ahead and enter this match against Salford. Uh, let me just put the league table up. Obviously, Finance-wise, we are still doing terrible. In fact, if we just jump into the finances real quick. Uh, obviously, we had the initial uh, boost with uh, solidarity payments and also gate. Um, not gate to streets. So what's, what's the name? Season tickets. Um, let's look at income for last month. Season tickets was over a million. And solidarity payments at the end of last season. So that came in, I think, May. At the end of May. Yeah, that helps. Right. Sorry, excuse me, I was yawning there. So, yeah, so we have a few improvements. I'm hoping this season won't be quite as bad because I don't know if you remember if you've watched if you've watched the previous few episodes we weren't able to make updates to the team for a long time whoops um, yeah last last year's team was pretty much a carbon uh, a carbon copy of the previous seasons so we were a little bit stuck as far as quality but we, we managed to make small improvements this season it's not too bad. I'm 
hopefully we will stay clear of the drop zone. Doing slightly better than 19th. I think our best result so far has been 19th. We finished two seasons in 20th place. So I'm hoping for 18th or better this season. That's the aim. Every time I go off the game, I um, do like press other things on my laptop. It seems to trigger my hot corner for um, showing the desktop. So apologies for that. draw so let's see what changes can we make let's bring back Lewis Kenzie um, Lewis in striker maybe actually no, I'll just play with one striker and I put Evans next to Coomer in midfield that will be all right So as, we, as I'm recording this, the Women's World Cup is going on in Australia and New Zealand. And, you know, it's quite exciting to know, I think it's been publicly announced now, that the women's leagues are coming to FM. So that's, that's really exciting. We'll be able to, I think, as far as I understand, it, you can seamlessly go between. So basically, you just add the leagues as any other leagues, any other men's leagues. Um, and you can you can just coach whatever teams you want. So you can go from, say, for example, coaching Hereford men's to coaching another team in the women's leagues um, and just build your career like that and you'll have access to all of the staff. They're, they're building at the moment the database for all the players and also the staff as well. So we'll have staff. We already have quite a lot of female staff in the, the game already. Actually, a lot of my coaches are women. Um, well, I wouldn't say a lot. A small portion of staff is our women at the moment. Um, so, and I'm slightly biased as well. So if I see two members of staff that could, when I'm hiring and looking for for um, new staff, if I see two that are, you know, pretty much the same attributes, attributes for me is the most important thing. But if if um, if there are two members of staff with the same attributes, I always go for the um, female staff because I think it's quite nice to be able to use them in this game. Right, so... Um, we don't really have many options for our strikers in the bench, or any at all. So, I'm going to go for Groom instead. And you also see a lot in this version of FM is women's referees. Women's referees and women's coaches are already in FM at the moment, as well as other staff. So I've seen physios and sports scientists and performing analysts. I can't remember if I've seen any scouts or directors of football that are female, uh, but yeah. All right, so it's a draw. And I will catch up with you later in the season. As always, I will play on until January or February. Do the winter, you know, uh, transfer window to see if we can improve at all our squad. And go from there. I'll meet you there. So take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.